everyone welcome back to another vlog so today is the last official day in my house and it feels a little bit surreal i've had a little bit of a cry this morning if you can't tell by my eyes being ridiculously puffy um i think it's because i am due on my period not gonna lie ridiculously happy because my house has come together so much which you guys will get to see later on in the vlog um but i'm also like very sad to be leaving this house behind and i know that might sound really silly to some people but houses to me are just like a big bundle of memories a big bundle of memories and a big bundle of energy and i've just had so many amazing memories in this house but equally i'm so so ready for just a fresh start i just feel like this is a new chapter of my life and yeah, I'm very, very excited. So as you can probably tell, I'm just halfway through doing my makeup, um, but I just wanted to jump on and do the introduction really, start the day off. It feels like summer today. Like, you know when you can hear aeroplanes and stuff in the sky and I can hear the birds singing and it's sunny? It feels like summer. Like, it feels like a really just, you know when a day has a nice atmosphere? But in today's video, it's of course gonna be a little day in the life, but I'm also gonna include a what I eat in a day because I'm very 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 conscious that I've neglected my healthy eating series and it's January everyone wants to kind of be healthy in January so I'm going to be starting that in this vlog and then as soon as I'm in my new house which will be tomorrow oh my god so excited and then as of tomorrow I'm gonna get back on the healthy eating series because I know how much you all enjoyed that last time. and yes I am still using a Christmas mug this is the only one that I haven't packed so it's still Christmas in this household. Today I'm going for like a very natural makeup. I've been loving just having like a really fresh face recently. I think as much as I do enjoy like a full glam, sometimes I think in the daytime it's nice to just look really fresh. I think especially in January going through to spring, I just like being glowy and just looking really, really healthy. I have literally just applied a very, very small amount of foundation mixed with my moisturiser and just a little bit of concealer and obviously I've done my eyebrows. So next I'm gonna go in with the Iconic London Sheer Blush. These are incredible. I think sometimes with a powder blusher, it can make your makeup look very, very matte. Whereas these liquid blushes are just incredible. They keep your face looking glowy and I just think they're so much more pigmented. So I'm just gonna show you both of these shades on the back of my hand just so you can see how amazing they are. So we will start with Rose Riot. As you can see, this is just so creamy. It's such a beautiful color. And once it's blended out, it just looks gorgeous. It blends so easily and it really does just make you look really, really healthy. And yeah, that is such a lovely color. And then this next one is my absolute favorite. This one is in shade Power Pink. And this one is a slightly brighter shade, but I just think it's so, so pretty. Again, the blend on this is just incredible and it leaves such like a sheer glowy finish. So the shade I'm gonna use today is Power Pink. And I usually just pop a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And then I just dot it on my cheeks like this. I literally just blend it with my finger. I also think as well blusher just makes your cheeks look really lifted Like whenever I apply blusher, I just think my face just looks lifted So as you can see it blends Beautifully and I just think it looks really really natural. It's perfect for sort of everyday makeup So I'm just gonna pop it on the other side as well I also like to put a little bit of this blush just in the center of my nose I think this actually makes such a difference for me and it makes you look a little bit more sun-kissed I don't know it's just something I really like about popping a little bit here on my nose and then I really really love my like blusher and lip color to matte so another thing I like to do with this blusher is I like to pop a little bit on my lips as well I love adding this to my lips because I just think it ties everything in together and it's not too intense and then that's pretty much it i'm not going to put any highlighter on because i don't need it this has got such a lovely like subtle glow to it that i don't really need any highlighter i'm going to leave a direct link to the iconic london sheer blush in the description box below because it just helps to really like transform my face on one of those days where i just want a quick easy natural glowy makeup look then this just really really helps me achieve that and i know you guys will absolutely love it so i'm gonna finish my hair get changed and then i'm gonna show you my favorite protein pancakes which are so easy to make so it's now breakfast time it's currently half 10 i'm having a very late breakfast today just because 
my life's all over the place at the minute, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, today is like a full day of eating. As a lot of you know, I do intermittent fasting. So I fast three out of seven, I need to say three out of five, three out of seven days a week. I usually kind of like plan those days around when I'm not really doing anything. I wouldn't do an intermittent fasting day on a day if you're doing any exercise or if you're kind of out and about because it can be quite an antisocial eating habit. So if I've got a day planned where I'm kind of going out with my friends, I try and avoid having an intermittent fast on that day purely because you don't wanna go out for lunch with someone and be like, I'm not eating. So yeah, I usually have one of those days where I've just got a full day at home and I can kind of not really do very much and drink a lot of water because that helps to fill you up. I feel like I've got cat hair in my lips, which I probably have because I've just been cooking Tilly. Now, I've tried so many different protein pancakes over the years and these are the only ones that I like. I hate any that taste of protein. You know that really like, it's a really weird taste, but I can't stand anything that actually tastes like protein. So the ones that I'm gonna show you are the only ones that I've ever tried that actually taste like real pancakes and they're delicious. They're really good for you, they're low in calories and they've got a lot of protein in, which is very important for like staying fuller for longer kind of thing. So the protein that I'm using today is this one from Protein World. I just get mine from Amazon. It's about 10 pounds and yeah, really, really, really yummy. They are literally so easy to make. You just need four little scoops, which I'm actually gonna have to mix in a bowl today because everything is packed and I've no idea where my shaker is, but you can just do it in a protein shaker. So four scoops of the powder, so 100 milliliters of milk. I like to use coconut milk because I try not to have too much dairy. This actually says as well to use oil in the pan. I actually like to use the coconut oil fry light. This just adds a little bit more of a flavor. I've actually purchased this little mini pancake pan. This was also from Amazon, I'll link it below. Um, but I don't know about anyone else, but when I try and make protein pancakes, they tend to stick. So I'm hoping because these are little and they've got a bit of a mold, I'm gonna spray this into maybe like three or four of these and then see how they cook. I just think they'll look so much nicer and hopefully they'll cook better as well. Also, just a little side note, if you see any dirt on my worktops, so that's because I haven't cleaned in a week. Um, when I move tomorrow, as soon as my house is empty, I have paid for a cleaner to come in and just blitz the whole house. So I thought there's no point in me cleaning until he comes in. So just a side note in case there's any like stuff anywhere because that makes me anxious thinking that you guys can see like dirt. Ta-da! So these are the mini pancakes. As you can see I just put blueberries in the pancake mixture whilst they were cooking. So yeah, this is breakfast. I'm so excited for you guys to try it. It's honestly so nice. And I'm really, really impressed with how the pan made the pancakes come out. Good afternoon, everyone. So it is now a little bit later on in the day. Currently just gone two o'clock. If you can't tell, I am at my new house. I just wanna give you guys a quick like house update because I've got so much new furniture as you can see, which I'm absolutely dying to show you. Like I can't wait until the next vlog to show you these bits. And also the next vlog you'll see will be on Sunday, but I'll have all my furniture in here as well so everything will just look so different. So the first thing I have to show you is my new TV unit. Incredibly happy with this. This is actually from Ikea. Um, I'll try and link as much furniture as I can below and then I've bought my old TV round and then these little bits that I've decorated it with um, the big candlestick is from the range and then these little flowers are from next home and then these little coasters are actually from a little shop in Stamford and then the next update I have I've still got this down ready for the removal men this is the next update I'm absolutely obsessed. Let me put the lights on so you can see it in all its glory. Oh my gosh. So I would kind of visioned this, but you know when it's just so much better than you actually thought it would be? So this is the table that I got from Oak Furniture Land. I chose glass in the end purely because I didn't want this area to look really, really cluttered. I wanted it to look like really spacious and minimal. 
I've got some dining room chairs coming in the next few weeks which are from AHF and they're the same colour as this blind so they're like a champagne-y colour with little knockers on the back. I've got four of them to go on this table which I think will look gorgeous. And then these are the curtains that I got from HomeSense which I'm so happy with. Oh and I also got these little curtain ties from the range. So yeah, feeling very, very, very happy now. Everything is finally coming together. Can't wait to get my dining chairs. And then the kitchen is looking like this. Got a new blind. Um, I had the option between white Venetians or this like, it's like a champagne silk roller blind. And I just think that looks so much nicer. I might change my mind um, in the future, but I think for now, I think everything just looks really, really nice. Before I show you my lunch, let me take you upstairs because my office is almost complete and I've been absolutely dying to show you it. <laughs> oh my God, I'm literally so happy. Like I can't stop smiling every time I come to this room. Again, this is so much better than I could have ever imagined. I'm so happy everything just ties in. My aim when I got this chair was to have everything black and white with little hints of gold. And I found the most perfect lamp in the range. Obviously, it's got these little gold bits, which I think go with the legs. And then I've got my Tom Ford book in here. I bought this from Next as well the other day, which smells so nice. And then I've just got to find two more bits to go on these shelves. But this is what I've put on here. I just collected basically everything black and white in my house. Um, plans for this room. Over here I've got my filming area. So I'm just going to get some like cute bits to put on here. Maybe some like very subtle fairy lights on the wall. And then here I am actually going to order some Desenio prints. I think one, two, three prints in black and white frames. And then the last updates I have is in my dressing room. Oh my gosh, would you look at those hoover lines? I don't want to walk on it. And nothing's really changed in here, but it just looks super clean and tidy. Wardrobes are here, and then obviously gonna have my mirror here and my dressing table here. So yeah, that's all the house updates I have for you now. So happy just everything is coming together and I can't wait to officially move tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be my first night here. I feel a little bit nervous about it. I don't know why, just a little bit like nervous, excited. So for lunch, I would usually cook my own lunch, but still haven't changed. The battery in my clock, still 20 to seven. I'm probably gonna do that today. How long have I been saying that for? It's a bit of a joke how long I've actually been saying that for. So for lunch, I'd usually cook something at home. I usually don't really have any carbs at lunch um, because I like to save like my carb for dinner. So lunches for me are usually salads. Sometimes actually I'll have a pita bread and hummus as well, which is quite carby, but that's like my favorite thing on planet earth. Um, so yeah, I do switch it up quite a lot. So like I said, when I start the healthy eating series, I'll make sure everything is sort of homemade, really easy, really healthy meals. So the first episode of that will actually be next week and I'm going to do a huge healthy food shop. Let me know in the comments below what shop you'd like me to do it from, but I'm excited to fill up my new fridge. So for my lunch today, I am now on my third water. I also drink a lot of black coffee, so I've had two black coffees today, but that's the only sort of drinks I've had. So I got one of my favorite salads from M&S. This is so good. I've got chicken, spinach, hummus, carrots, some red cabbage and beetroot, and then some beans and broccoli down here. It's so nice and so filling, and it's only got 243 calories in this pack. And I'm pretty sure as well, the carbs are pretty low on this as well. Yeah, 13.5 grams. I can't eat a lot of carbs. Some people can eat loads and loads and never gain weight. And I find if I just eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of meat, a lot of salad, I really tone up. Someone's always gonna have something to say about this. I think whenever you talk about diets, whenever you talk about food, people just love to kind of like go all nutritionist on you. I'm just telling you what I eat. I'm not claiming to be a diet expert or anything like that. I'm just kind of like telling you the things that really, really work for me. So another one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to eat. And whenever I tell anyone this, they think I'm really weird. Like I feel like if someone said to me, pick, maybe not my favorite snack, but one of my favorite snacks, it would be these love them so much the only place i can actually find these are waitrose and they're two pound bloody 50 a packet but 
they are worth £2.50. They're so, so nice. And again, I find them really filling. So I'll probably have these either with my lunch or a little bit later if I get hungry. And then after my lunch, I am one of those people that has to have something sweet after something savoury. Like my sweet stomach and my savoury stomach are two different people. They're just different people. Maybe not different people, but like different stomachs. You know what I mean? Even if I'm so incredibly full to the point I can't move, I'm in a food coma from eating dinner, I can still eat something sweet, always. So I have got myself some fruit from m and I eat quite a lot of fruit um, because I love it and yeah, it really fills me up and it gets rid of any cravings for chocolate or anything like that. So I love bananas, I love strawberries, I love grapes, apples, I love any fruit. So a lot of my diet does consist of that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. My plan right now is I'm gonna go sit in my office. I'm really, really excited. And I'm going to start editing this video and then my mum's popping over, then I'm going over to see Tiffany and then I'm going home. Hello everyone! So it's now evening time, it's currently 20 past 7. I have spent the afternoon at Tiff's and I'm not going to lie, I had some Maltese buttons. So I'll add that to what I eat in a day. I'm kind of like trying to wean myself off chocolate at the moment. I find when I eat a lot of a certain thing... Like Christmas, I was very dependent on chocolate. And now I find I can't go a day without it, so I have to have my chocolate fix, like a little bit. And I remember I used to be like this, and then I went completely cold turkey on chocolate, and then I didn't crave it anymore. So maybe as of tomorrow, as I'm moving, I could turn over a new leaf and introduce no chocolate diet into my life. But, you know, everything in moderation is all good. Um, YOLO. Anyway, so for dinner, I am doing a little thing which I like to call a protein bowl. So, <laughs> I was about to say, so easy and so healthy again. Yeah, of course it is, Gemma. So, I have got two chicken breasts. These are just from Waitrose because I was close to Waitrose and I did that really lazy thing again when I went in there and everything is just very overpriced in there. And I'm actually going to cook them in my George Foreman grill. If you don't have a George Foreman grill, the best investment ever. I think they're about like 25 to 30 pounds from Argos and they just cook things so quickly. Like the outside of meat really crispy but the inside still really like not dry. Like I hate the word juicy when it comes to meat. I don't know, that makes me feel a little bit like weird. But they just cook meat really, really nicely and also they're brilliant for halloumi. Um, if you watched one of my videos a while ago, I cooked some halloumi in it and it... it it's just incredible. So I'm going to do my chicken breasts in the George Foreman. I'm also going to put a little bit of Nando's Peri Peri Mild. Does anyone else like the mild? I just think the medium is way too spicy. Um, so I'm going to put some of that on there as well because the George Foreman kind of like, not burns it, but I don't know. You'll see what I mean. It char grills it. It char grills the chicken and makes it really, really nice. And then I'm going to have with it, let me spin you round. So with it, I'm going to have tender stem broccoli. And I also picked up this. I usually just do normal rice. Um, but I thought this sounded a little bit funky, you know, cauliflower and kale couscous. And I'm pretty sure it's got a lemon dressing. So I thought that looked a little bit like something different. So I'm going to use that today. If you don't fancy using this, I usually just use like one of the flavoured rice. And I'm also going to cook some sunflower as well because you guys know I'm obsessed with this and it needs eating. And once it's all cooked, I will just add some cashews. You can pretty much add any nuts or seeds. I think it just gives it a little bit more texture. I love like meats with nuts. That's one of my favourite combos. So first of all, going to cook the chicken in here and then I'll do everything else and I'll pop you on a little time lapse so you can see it all come together. blanket where I belong I swear I've worn this in like every single vlog for the past few weeks and that's because it's actually the only item of clothing I now have in my house so 
that is going to go ahead and kind of conclude this video i have just got a yogurt to eat in bed these are my favorite they taste like strawberry donut very free and they're just super yummy so like i said i always like to have something sweet after i've had something savory so i either have a yogurt or fruit or something like that or malteser buttons you know one of the three so i'm gonna sign off for the day now this is the last night in this house that was the last supper um it feels weird today feels very very strange it's meant to be blue monday today which is like the saddest day of the year and i do feel a bit emotional today i've had quite a few cries i just feeling feeling deep in my feelings and feeling deep in my feelings that doesn't actually make sense but i just feel very emotional and I'm very, very excited for tomorrow. I just want it to be here now. So I'm quite looking forward to going to bed. I'm going to continue watching a new Netflix series, which I discovered yesterday, which is called The Unibomber. And it's really, really good. It's basically about this guy that was like a freaking mastermind. Like he was more intelligent than Einstein. He had like an IQ of like, I don't know, like 300 or something mad. And he like sent bombs in like parcels to loads of random people and it took like years to find him like it's really really good so if you like stuff like that unibomber is the one for you canon just rudely died on me as i was saying there's another really really good series on bbc iplayer which i discovered the other week i watched like the entire series in i think two sit-ins i was having a bit of a binge session and it's called undercover and yeah that's really really good if you kind of like I guess it's like a bit of a thriller, drama, policey kind of thing. Then you'll really, really enjoy that. I love stuff like that. I like crime. That's it, crime. Don't know why I've got my USB thing kind of like stuck on my thumb. Um, I love like crime series. Is. I think they're really, really good. So, yeah. It's the last night. I feel weird. This is the last time ever in my whole life that I'm going to be saying goodnight from this bedroom. The last ever. Maybe I'm making a big deal out of that when I really don't need to, but it feels strange. And yeah, I'm very happy that you could all join me on my last night. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm super excited to start my healthy eating series again. Um, if there's anything in particular you would like to see, just let me know in the comments box below. And I shall see you. I think I've got a double upload this weekend. I've got this week's vlog going up on Sunday and then a B&M and the range haul on Saturday. So I'll see you on Saturday and Sunday this weekend. Yeah, I hope you're having a brilliant week so far and I shall see you at the weekend. Bye. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that because you don't know who